Hi everyone, my name is Matthias Allen and I'm a celebrity makeup artist working in Los Angeles and today I'm working with Poise Makeup Professional and I cannot tell you how excited I am. In our first tutorial, I showed you how Poise Makeup Professional creates a natural flawless coverage on any skin tone. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how Poise Makeup Professional helps me create celebrity red carpet looks for all of my clients. I'm gonna start with the Peach One Cream Corrector just around the eye area just to cancel out any kind of purple or bluish undertones in her skin. Okay, look up. Makeup artist tip from Matthias is pay attention to your client's chest area and what color her self-tanner or natural tanner is because the skin may be much lighter than the chest and the shoulders and you really need to make your client look all one color. So I'm basing this color off of the color that I'm going to create by the very end. All right, now that the uh, corrector is all done, we're going to work with the Cinema Touch HD Cream Foundation. This amazing product is full of botanical extracts, um, soothing ingredients. I love this on the skin and I can't wait to show you how it works for my celebrity red carpet look. Now this comes in a variety of colors and you can definitely find your shade at poisemakeup.com. But as a makeup artist, I like to mix and match and custom blend my own shade. So I'm taking two of the colors, mixing them together, and I'm basing that on basically the color that I want to create overall. So I'm gonna take these, this mix, and I'm gonna take our fluffy natural hair brush, buff that into the bristles on my palette. I'm gonna start on the forehead blending that back and forth. And as you can see, it's very warm. It's very warm because I want it to match the tan that we have on this Brooke over here, who likes to be a little darker. Secret is I do too, you know, just a little self-tanner on, on us both. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love the way this goes on. It goes on so smooth and effortlessly. A little bit on the tip of the nose. And lightly under the eye. But I'm not gonna put it heavy because I'm gonna use another highlighting shade for under the eye area. So one of my makeup artist tricks is to always, always do foundation or some kind of a bronzing powder under the neck to marry this color into this color down here. As you can see, it is completely blending and matching and just creating one even shade. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to highlighting under the eye. I'm gonna take this one right here, which is Natural Euro. I'm gonna take that, put that right onto my palette. I'm gonna use my finger to warm that up. And I wanna give a really nice smooth coverage. So I'm just gonna dot that over the Cinema HD corrector. Same thing on this side. I've used other cream full coverage foundations and concealers in the past and none of them have the same smooth texture. None of them have the same even application. Okay, now that the skin is done, I'm just gonna kind of erase the color on her lip and I'm gonna use one of the HD cream correctors to do so. I'm gonna take the blue corrector, which is more of a pink undertone to just erase the uh, color in her lip so that any uh, lip gloss or lip liner goes on extra, extra bright and colorful. All right, so once you've concealed out the lip for a nice bright opaque lip color of your choice, um, you can actually stop right there because Cinema HD Cream Foundation from Poise does not need to be set. It is a beautiful, flawless, radiant finish that I absolutely love for an everyday look. But because my client is going to the red carpet and she needs to look perfect for at least 12 hours, I'm gonna just use a little bit of our setting powder to just finally set that product and make it last even longer. 
So I'm going to be using the mineral press powder from Poise and I absolutely love these because they are true to color. So the color that you see is the color you're going to get. I'm gonna be using a large fluffy brush just to lightly dust and pat powder onto the forehead, onto the sides of the cheek, onto the chin, other side, And do you notice that I'm using a patting motion? I really like to set the skin for long wear by patting powder into the surface, as opposed to just fluffing it all over the face. I really want the product to set and stay. So I put it exactly where I want it and I press it into the skin. You'll also notice that I'm not going underneath Brooke's eyes yet. For that, I use a different color powder, a lighter color. Don't forget to set any foundation wherever you put it, whether it's down the neck or across the ears or on the hands. Sometimes people need makeup on their hands. Makeup or a secret. Okay, I'm gonna be taking a different brush to set underneath Brooke's eyes with a lighter shade. Okay, look up. Can you see the difference? All right, so once my client's face is completely powder set for long lasting day wear for the red carpet, I'm going to take the Poise Makeup Professional Trio Brow Kit which is one of my favorite products for brows. And I'm gonna be using this very neutral taupe, which works on like six out of 10 clients of mine. I'm gonna be using a spoolie brush as well just to brush hairs up and get them placed and ready to draw. All right, so brush those up. Then I'm going to just accentuate just this top arch. Give it a little bit more definition, see right there up on top. Use the spoolie brush to brush the cream product into the hair. Then use the product slightly underneath to create a nice, smooth, even arch. And take a little bit of the product and just brush it into the hairs, just like this. And the product just melts right into the hair and it sticks to the skin like no other. And it just gives you a perfect brow in like 30 seconds. And I didn't even have to go back to the product to get more on the brush. That's how amazingly pigmented these are. All right, so now that I've got my brows exactly where I want them to be, I'm gonna move on to lips and cheeks and add a little bit more color to balance out her gorgeous eyes. I'm gonna use the Poise Lip Liner in Sand, and we're just gonna give her a really neutral lip line. This is a very warm peach. It's just gonna add a little bit of definition around the outside of the lip. I wanna still keep it kind of a nude and kind of peachy, kind of barely there lip, but I just wanna add a little bit of definition, and this lip liner is perfect for that. This is a great universal lip liner. And as you can see, it just gives a little bit of a deeper halo around the outside of that nude lip that you created with the multitasking cream corrector. So just giving a final touch up to perfect the skin and then I'm ready to go and finish up with my clients, center out on the red carpet. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Poise Makeup Professional tutorial. I hope you guys learned many amazing tricks that you're gonna take with you and use to develop your artistry or just check out Poise Makeup Professional for yourself and then buy some of the products and test them out because they really are amazing and I truly do love them.